I'm not really too sure how this has happened, but a recently relegated Premier League manager has landed himself one of the biggest jobs in Europe. <laughs> yes, of course, I'm talking about former Manchester City captain Vincent Company landing himself the Bayern Munich job after Thomas Tuchel departs from Bayern and Burnley are relegated from the Premier League. But before we go any further, please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, comment down below your opinions on a company's managerial career so far. And if you think this is a good or bad appointment. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember, if you get a thousand subscribers, I'll shave off all my hair. And I'll go company levels of bold. I just won't have as big of a head, which is definitely a positive. But I, th I still think I'll look pretty jerk. So, you know, that's your incentive to subscribe. But anyway... Let's let let's like look at this, right? Because Bayern Munich just went trophyless for the first time in God knows how many years. They didn't win the league for the first time in ten years, at uh, ten eleven years, right? So they've decided that they're going to hire a manager that was just relegated from the Premier League. Someone that got just five Premier League wins last season, 24 points, and finished second from bottom. When they're trying to regain their throne as the kings of Germany? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really make much sense, does it? Especially as when you when you look at companies um managerial career, it has a lot of ups and downs because obviously he would leave Man City at the end of the 2019 season, right? After winning the domestic treble, right? And he would join Anderlecht as a player manager, which is already, I think, a bad idea because being able to juggle your, the uh, juggle the managerial duties and also being a player, like, is that real? Like, it's it's a dying role in the game, and for good reason because it's it's like it just doesn't make much sense, and it's a lot harder than just doing one of the jobs right and he would step down and that he'd be like you know that um thought process would be proven right because he'd step down as the manager after two losses and two goalless draws um with him deciding to focus on just being a player until the end of the season in which he would then the following season take over as the first team coach and solely just be the manager um, and he'd lead his team to a third place finish in in back to back seasons, with him then reaching a cup final in twenty twenty two, but unfortunately coming runners up. Right, so so things weren't looking too bad. Right, things things weren't looking too bad. They weren't looking like great. He wasn't having the uh, breakout campaigns that Lampard, uh, Gerrard, and and Rooney and Rooney were having. Right, they weren't having such. Um, campaigns that were in in the media limelight again probably because he's not english but you know and then burnley would get relegated from the premier league and would announce that in the following season in the championship vincent company would be their manager and it was an interesting appointment because company likes to play attacking football he likes to play fancy football and that's not what burnley did Sh uh, sean dice as as everybody's seen has his philosophy right and he just gets a bunch of players, usually bigger lads, and just plays their strengths. Quite literally, right? He plays shit house ball. Let's let's be honest, right? Good good manager, very good manager um, at getting the best out of the players that he has and and doing uh, good with very little. Obviously, he got Burnley into the Europa League once, which is, you know, quite the achievement. Well, into the Europa League qualifying round, should I say? Um, so, you know, it, it was quite the switch up, but it was, you know, it was welcomed, right? And especially when he would go on to get, get them instantly back promoted to the Premier League with 101 points, um, playing absolutely incredible football with um, some exciting talent in that team. But then, upon promotion... He would lose key players such as Nathan Teller and Ian Matson, right? Um, and he wouldn't always, he'd experiment with his team a lot, wouldn't always play his best players, wouldn't always play the players that were proven 
um, to be good in the system that he was using. Um, there was a lot of rotation. There was goalkeeping issues with him playing James Trafford, um, an inexperienced um, goalkeeper, obviously, um, only ever playing under-21s football before this. Um and obviously League One football and under 21s football, should I say, um, getting thrown straight into the Premier League. Um, he probably outstayed his welcome in the first team, um, with Murich probably coming in a bit little too late to, to save their season. And um, him not really having a plan B and and just um, continuing to play his exciting brand of football, his his you know his his philosophy, even when it clearly wasn't working because the players or the system weren't good enough to um, get results in the, in the Premier League, which obviously results in them going down, right? And I thought he would stay, right? I thought he would stay again, go in the, go in the championship, learn from his mistakes, uh, come back up, learn from his mistakes in the Premier and give it a good go again, right? Um, you know, build a solid core team and, and this time like bring it into the Premier League and uh, and, and keep with that team and, and just build on it and, and improve it and, and hopefully try... Um, survive, but obviously with with Bayern, ser their search for a manager getting quite desperate. With them, obviously, basically saying earlier in the season that Tom's Tuchel was was leaving at the end of the summer, and then them try at the end of the season even, and then them trying to get him to sign another contract because they couldn't get their first choice managers in. You know, it, it was a bit embarrassing, and it wasn't a good look um, on Bayern on the club. So they went out uh, and got a manager that was relegated from the Premier League and I I don't I don't really get it like going we're not winning the title is one thing for Bayern but going trophyless is is a disgrace you you sh you shouldn't be doing that okay like as soon as you knew that the league was gone you, you should have prioritized the Champions League right they they definitely should have even beat they should definitely be in the Champions League final if it wasn't for poor substitutions and and um individual mistakes late on in the game but I, i've covered that in a video already um that video will be linked down below if you want to see my thoughts on Bayern's exit to the um exit from the champions league but and i also predicted Bayern to win the treble at the start of the season actually when they signed harry kane so you know shows what i know right um but yeah especially when the team that beat them to the title has only lost one game in all competitions all season right winning the um the German Cup and also winning the Bundesliga, going unbeaten in those, only losing the Europa League final 3-0 to Atalanta, that obviously being Bayer Leverkusen, who are keeping hold of Xavi Alonso, and if they can keep hold of a lot of the players that they have, um, keep hold of a lot of their, their core members, especially with such an exciting young youngish coach, um, they could definitely push to do it again, right? Like, that's not beyond, like, the uh, bounds of possibilities, right? They could definitely do that, especially if Bayern are going with such an unproven coach um, at the top level. Anyway, after we've seen what he did in the Premier League, and again, yes, the Premier League's different to to the Bundesliga. The different types of football kind of fly. He won't have to play against as many um, low blocks, and he won't have to play against as many absolute powerhouses of teams, right? And he, on paper, should have the best squad in the league, right? So. He obviously has better resources than he does at Burnley, but I just think, especially coming in off of a season where they went trophyless, he can't fail. He can't afford to fail. Maybe if he came in last season and then Bayern had the season they had, it would be, you know, understandable that he failed. But they can't fail two seasons in a row, which means company has to hit the ground running company has to be a success and that is a lot of pressure on his shoulders right that is and company will have to swallow his pride at some point and if, if like if things start going wrong at Bayern he'll have to swallow his pride at some point and that's not something company's always done um obviously seeing him as a player and as a manager so you know I do want it to work out for him because obviously he's tipped to be a uh, future City manager, obviously him being our former captain, our, our most successful captain, um, my favourite captain we've had, one of my favourite City players. So I want him to make it as a coach, but I just I just don't think this move was it. Especially after the coming off of the season that he just had, I don't think, and the season Bayern just had, this move's not it. 
I, I don't think it is. I, I think it ends in disaster, if I'm being realistic. And I do want him to prove me wrong. I, I do 100% want him to prove me wrong, and I do hope I am wrong on this. But I just see it ending in disaster, and I think he could potentially get sacked um, quite early on in the season. Especially when they sat Nagelsmann, um, obviously not this season, but the season before, when they were on, they were on for a treble. And they bring in Tuchel, Tuchel gets them instantly knocked out of two competitions, and they only win the league by the skin of their teeth due to Dortmund pulling off one of the biggest final day bottles of all time. So, Bayern have been very lucky in these last two seasons since they lost Lewandowski. Um, obviously, last season it being due to the fact they didn't have a number nine, and this season with it just being due to the fact that Harry Kane is never going to win a trophy in his career <laughs> especially if they're bringing in such an unproven coach but you know that's all i've really got to say on it let me know if you think that if company's going to be a success at Bayern or not um and who you think burnley's next manager is going to be coming into um the championship campaign they've got next season um like the video if you enjoyed um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if it's the first video of mine you've watched Check out the rest of these on the channel. I'm 100% sure that you will enjoy them if you enjoyed this one. For that being said, I've been Nathan. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Shut down cases. They belly dots to the cards. He faces. Chasing, chasing the bad guy. Chasing. You don't want to be the one like Ace and like GTA. Trying to turn them out places. Aye. Tell about bitch. Come break it. Break it. Body come mad. Come shake it. Shake it. Then get back to the basics. Basics. Bro, down. Shut down cases. They belly dots to the cards.